Hey everybody, it's Joe. Yesterday, I won on eBay an auction for a dual lane rod runner. Uh, I think it was an estate find. It was in a box that was never opened. Um, the box and the pictures looked like it was in okay condition with good graphics. Uh, so that had me thinking about stuff in my own collection. Red line pieces that were never opened or new old stock. So I thought I would just go through those real quick. So, pardon the mess in the garage, but I was pulling this stuff out looking for it because I had it in different boxes. So, <clears throat> in any event, a Hotline Quick Switch Pack for the Hotline Train, part of the Sizzlers. Um, I got two of these. Um, never opened. I bought these from the same seller years ago. Um, I have no idea what I paid for these. All right, so I got those. Um, these are in really good condition with great graphics. Daredevil loop. Um, <clears throat> let me find the, uh, copyright date. If I can. I'm not seeing the copyright date right now. But I think this is from 68 or 69. Oh, you know what? Uh, on the back, it's written in a different language. So I don't know if this was an uh, international pack. Up here, it's in a different language. Right there is an English. Jump ramp accessory pack. And some of this stuff I had duplicated with open packages that I bought, so not a big deal. Somebody just happened to have a case of this stuff, I guess from an old toy store. But it's kind of interesting how something 50 years old can survive and not be opened in such good condition. Alright, so. Here's a dual lean lap counter. Um, I actually have two of these. Um, and that's the dual lane lap counter. Set that aside. There's another jump ramp accessory pack. Boxes in not as good condition as the other one. Got some creases. That looks like a crease, not a not a crack. Back is in English. There's this other one. Uh, this is also the other, was the other piece. That was in a different language. Uh, here's the trestle five pack. Two dual lane and three one lane trestles. particular order. They're not in order by year or when they came out or anything like that. Um, here's a hot dog flight deck. When was this? 72 maybe? 71? And there's a picture of the actual content. So it's got some creasing, but overall it's in good condition. And uh, pardon the sunlight out here. It's a really nice day where I am in the Northeast, and uh, I've gotten heavy from not being able to exercise because of the pandemic, so I've been uh, cooped up in the house, and this is my exercise. Um, this is interesting. Never opened up, and again, this is part of the hot birds. Um, part of my Skyline and Hook Pack. I guess let's take a look at the back. I didn't show you that. It's got some writing on it. Okay. So, Skyline hook pack. Again, I don't know what I paid for this. Um, these are all eBay purchases. 
guarantee you they're all eBay purchases. These are relatively common. You could still get these stickers um, in the packaging. Um, I think I've seen them for as low as $5. And this is an unpunched one. Uh, I don't know what I pay for these. Again, these are all eBay purchases. Here's another unpunched one, but the little rondelle fell out from the other side and it's been like that since I've had it. All right, so the sticker rounds, oh, yeah, stickers. Again, these are all eBay purchases. Um, half curve. I really love this kind of art on here from Otto Cooney. Um, this is copyright 1967. Uh, a little bit crushed. I don't think that's from me. I think that's from. Um, it's got a little tear here. But other than that, it's just sealed. Um, quite honestly, that might be from me. Unfortunately. I'm trying to store it. Um, single lane rod runner. And it's the dual lane rod runner. I won. So single lane rod runner, unopened. This is copyright 1969. Um, there's tape here, but I think it's still sealed. I don't know if that was done at the factory or not. So I'm going with it still factory sealed. Could have been done at the store. Someone could have opened it. I don't know. So that's a half and half. <clears throat> not a red line piece. Came out in the 70s, but still. Um, this game, it comes with this Hot Wheels car. The uh, flat out 442. Um, this has just got a little bit of tearing here, and that's still factory sealed. <clears throat> Automatic lap counter. Again, you could find these. You could find them with the boxes, you could find them loose, whatever. Still plenty available. Um, here I have a Danger Changer 2 pack. Again, I think I did this unfortunately. And that's what it comes with. <clears throat> Got some Sizzler stuff. Um, here's a Speed Break and S's pack. Uh, I might have gotten this from the same seller a couple different times. And again, I gotta watch how I store this stuff. This is my fault. Um, this is from 1969. So that's a single lane. Okay. Here's the dual lane. Supercharger. This is still factory sealed. I guess at some point somebody had it for $6.99. Um, this is what kind of faded. I think it's dusty. Bridge 3 pack. This is one of my favorite pieces. Um, there's one on eBay now 
going for 225 hours he wants for an unopened one. I know I did not spend anywhere near that for this. Okay, so a bridge three pack. And I love this artwork. And this is copyright 1969. In the trail pack, unopened for the um, Hot Wheels mold maker, whatever it's called. I don't have the actual machine. Copyright 1969. Another guy has this uh, on eBay for like $500, $499. That's ridiculous. I don't even know if it's worth that much, but I know I didn't pay that. Okay. Single lane speedometer. It's good graphics. Copyright 1969. And here's my other dual lane speedometer um, unopened. And that just has $2 written right there. So maybe this was a yard sale thing or something years ago. I don't know. Anyway, um, that's it for my Hot Wheels unopened red line pieces. And uh, questions, comments, please leave them below. And uh, I hope you all have a good week.